Hey folks, it's Rob from Rob's Movie Collection, and I have such a big haul to show you guys right now. Um, I apologize in advance for going fast, because I do have a lot here, and I'm going to have to go pretty fast in order to squeeze it into uh, 15 minutes here. So, uh, enough gabbing, let me show you what I got here. Starting with uh, the used bookstore at the library where I work, I got this uh, Creating the Lord of the Rings Symphony. This is a documentary on uh, the making of the music for the movie by... Howard Shore, so I was like, I love that soundtrack, so that's great, got that. Uh, let's see, also I got uh, Extras, this is that uh, series with Ricky Gervais, I think this is what he made after The Office, and uh, he came with a slip cover, look at that, it's got uh, all that stuff there, so that's pretty good, pretty happy I found that. Uh, I came across this one, Paranormal Activity, uh, I've kind of heard about it, and uh, Although somebody already told me it doesn't, uh, it's not very good, but I don't know. Uh, just decided to check it out, see if it's any good. If none, I'll just donate it back. And then I came across Treasure Planet. Uh, any Disney movie that I come across uh, that I can get used like this, if it's in good condition, I usually grab it. If it's a good addition, uh, I like Treasure Planet. You know, the main character is played by Joseph Gordon Levitt, so it's not too bad. So that was good. Uh, let's see what else here. Uh, I got at, uh, I went down the street to uh, uh, Walgreens that was near where I work, and I came across these, uh, the Thunderbirds movie. Now, I've never seen it, uh, I heard it wasn't that great, but uh, you know what, for 39 cents, I couldn't resist, I figured, well, I'll just try it, if it's no good, I'll donate it back to the library, or not back to the library, but to the library, and I also found this one, The Best of Times, you can't see it there, it's The Best of Times, this is a... Uh, uh, Robin Williams, Kurt Russell movie from the 80s, uh, also 39 cents, so I never saw it at the time, and I don't know, I don't think it was one of his biggest hits, but uh, I figured again, hey, for 39 cents, give it a shot, right? And uh, then I went over to Book Off, out in uh, Lakewood, and I got this one, The Invisible Man. This is the Legacy Collection, and this completes my Legacy Collection. Now I've got all of them, The Invisible Man. Has never been one of my favorite of the Universal Monsters, but uh, but it you know for a used place that uh, that sells used DVDs, this one came sealed and all. So I figured yeah, I'll snap it up, and I'm complete there. So that's good. And then I c came across this uh, Blu-ray of Star Trek Into Darkness. I've never actually seen this one before, so uh, and it was pretty cheap. It's used, but still it was in pretty good condition. It's got a lot of special features. I only have this one on DVD anyway. With of course I'm gonna get them. Special feature, but uh, that was good. I'm glad I got that. And let's see, I was at Target and I came across these steel books of the uh, Indiana Jones movies Raider of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, of course, and Last Crusade. I'm not sure why I haven't seen this more on more videos. I haven't really seen anybody show these on any videos. I'm not sure what's going on there since steel books are so popular, but uh. You know, they don't really have anything different or new on them. It's basically just the movie. There's no documentaries or anything. Uh, the DVDs I have here of, of these movies have have the three movies and a uh, bonus disc with all the documentaries. But, gosh, you know, this is uh, raised up and uh, I just couldn't resist it, you know. The only thing that disappoints me is that they didn't have the fourth one. I don't dislike the fourth one like so many people do, so I'm kind of disappointed in that. But... Uh, Hopefully it'll come out. And then, of course, I did go back to Criterion Sale again one more time. I <laughs> couldn't resist. And I got this one when horror came to show Chiku. Uh, four movies, uh, Japanese movies. Uh, the X from Outer Space, I've heard of that one. Goki Body Snatcher from Hell, The Living Skeleton, and Genocide. Uh, <laughs> I was just reading the back of it. And uh, they, were just, they just sound great. So uh, definitely glad I got that. It's nice and thick. And... And I can't believe that this has a Criterion release. Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, a Russ Meyer movie <laughs> has a Criterion release. I was flipping channels and uh, and uh, I was, came across this. I started watching and remember, yeah, I kind of always wanted to get this one. It's so ridiculous and and just boobs everywhere because that's what you know Russ Meyer was all about. Uh, let's see what else here. Ah, went to Big Lots during lunchtime as usual, and I came across this one, Mom and Dad Save the World. This is a, a comedy sci-fi movie from the 80s. I never got a chance to see it back then. 
Uh, so I'm not even sure if it's any good, but I do remember it coming out for three bucks. It's Terry Gard, Jeffrey Jones from uh, Paris Bueller's Day Off, John Lovitz and Eric Idle. So three bucks, heck yeah, I'll try it. Uh, and also at Big Lots, I came across the best exotic Marigold Hotel, which I've never seen, but I've always heard it's really good. And I think there's even a second one. And I like the actors, I like all these actors. So I thought I'd give it a shot for three bucks. I love Big Lots. Uh, now, I also got a Nicolas Cage movie uh, at Walmart. I'm not sure if I... I know I showed one of these in the last haul video. I'm not sure if it was this one or the other one that I'm going to show in a second. Dying of the Light. Uh, of course, I'm trying to collect all these Nicolas Cage movies. Just, I don't know why all of a sudden, but that one. Uh, no, and I think I might have shown this one in the last one, but if I didn't, well, here it is. No. Uh, and then at Big Lots, I also got... And so it goes for three bucks. Michael Douglas and Diane Keaton. Never seen it, but uh, just reading the back of it. Uh, sometimes I just really need to see a movie that isn't full of explosions and crazy things. Speaking of which, I also picked up Battle Los Angeles. Not the greatest movie in the world, but I was flipping channels and I came across it and I started to watch it and then I had to go to work and I thought, oh, I'll just grab it. Uh, let's see. Also, it's big lights. Whoops. Uh oh. I'll pick that up in a second here. Uh, Western Classics for eight bucks. Now this has a bunch of movies to it here. Escape from Fort Bravo, Many Rivers to Cross, Cimarron, you know, so just a whole bunch of them. And I really like Western, so uh, that's pretty good. And picked up Kong Skull Island at Best Buy. And uh, I got the, uh, the uh, I, was, I was looking for, a, I thought there'd be a steel book but I couldn't find the steel book. And uh, I was looking at the difference between the DVD and the Blu-ray, and I've done this before. And they've got the same thing, same special feature, so I just grabbed the DVD, it was cheaper. Love that movie, it was really good. And I also got Stargate, I'm actually not sure, let's say where I got this one, I don't remember where I got it from, but I, I actually didn't have the Stargate movie, not even on DVD. I had it on video, but not on DVD for some reason. So, grab that. Uh, Continue with the Nicolas Cage thing, got Drive Angry. I saw a clip of this on YouTube recently and <laughs> it's just silly, so I grabbed it. Uh, also at Walmart, I grabbed Conan the Barbarian Remake. Uh, not nearly as good as the Schwarzenegger one, but uh, some good effects and I like that world, that fantasy world, and it was like five bucks or something, so I think, well, that's good. Mind you, I didn't get all these on the same week. Uh, and then at Big Lots, I grabbed this one, The Judge, with Robert Downey Jr. and Robert Duvall. Again, I just kind of like in the mood for a film where actors just act. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, yesterday, uh, in the uh, Walmart $5 bin, got this one, Homefront. Uh, again, I saw a clip from this on YouTube, and I kind of you know, thought the action was pretty good. I'm not a big Jason Statham fan, but uh, I thought it might be worth getting, given that it was cheap. Uh, let's see what else here. Oh, I picked up, yeah, Kung Fu Yoga with Jackie Chan. Awesome. I love Jackie Chan. And uh, I saw the trailer to this and just thought it was funny. Jackie Chan, the way, I love it when he does the Chinese movies. I don't like the American movies as much because you know, there's too many limits. But this is with Stanley Tong who did uh, Rumble in the Bronx and Super Cop. And those were great. And then I heard, and this is what I like about YouTube. I didn't even know this was out until I saw somebody talk about it on YouTube. Steelbook of the Fog, and uh, yeah, I had the Fog on DVD already. I don't think I even had a chance to open it, or maybe I did. I'm not sure. But uh, this, of course, has got all these special features on it, which is what I'm definitely looking for. So that's good. Uh, and then I also picked up the two Spider-Man movies: Amazing Spider-Man 2 and Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, also had them on DVD, but of course this comes with the special features, and these were a little cheaper because of the new Spider-Man movie. Nick Cage once again, Outcast, and this time with Hayden Christensen. I know nothing about this, but it kind of takes place during those old times with swords and stuff. And I love that crap. So, uh, three-way of the Expendables, all the Expendable movies. I've been meaning to get these for a while, and uh, I've been holding off of whether I should get it on. DVDs or Blu-ray, and I just came across this one. Cheap, so I figured I'd get it. Documentaries don't think they'll be that great for that. 
And then I came across the Librarian movies at Kmart of all places. And I've got the TV series Librarians, but I hadn't had the movies yet. So this has got all three of them, so I grabbed that. And uh, let's see what else here. Came across Gravity, two disc special edition. Never actually seen Gravity, but I heard a lot about it. And I love Sandra Bullock, so I grabbed that. Uh, let's see. Oh, Planet of the Apes. I've been hemming and hawing about Planet of the Apes because there's so many different versions out there and so many packs. And I wasn't sure which one to get. And But finally I got tired of it and I came across this one that was pretty cheap. I thought, well, I'm just going to get this even if I have to get a pack to get the rest of them and it'll have you know this one again but this this blu-ray's got a lot of good stuff on it a lot of special features so I'll grab that uh and then at walmart i came across mimic three film set i i did like the first mimic i had no idea there were two more but uh that's great it's got a ticket there for valerian so awesome but uh kind of looking forward to seeing what the other two were all about and then finally i think that's it finally yep uh Finally, I came across Shin Godzilla! Yes, Godzilla came out on Blu-ray and DVD, the little combo pack there. And I uh, had to grab that up, even though some, some of it was a little bit slow, but still, it's Godzilla, and I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Rest in peace, uh, Haru Nakajima, who just passed away and uh, played the first Godzilla, so decided to get that. Okay, that is it. I know I kind of went through that really, really fast, and I'm sorry again about that, but uh, there was just a lot there. That's what I got for the last month or two. Alright, see you guys next time.